To find the oxidation number for each element in CaO2, that's calcium peroxide, we'll use these general rules here. This is a bit of an interesting one. When we have these peroxides, we do need to be careful. So when we look at calcium peroxide, CaO2, it's a neutral compound. It's neutral because there's no plus or minus up here. So all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that'll be really useful for us as we try to figure out the oxidation number on each element here in CaO2. Let's see, calcium is in group two, so it'll have a plus two oxidation number. So we're normally used to oxygen having a minus two oxidation number, and usually it does, except with fluorine and then peroxides, and this is a peroxide. So let's figure out the oxidation number on oxygen using this information that calcium is plus two and everything has to add up to zero. So let's just call oxygen X. So we have plus two for the calcium. We only have one of those. Plus we have two oxygens and each oxygen, we don't know what it is. We'll just call it X. And all of that adds up to zero. So we have two plus two X equals zero. So two X that equals minus two. Divide both sides by two X equals minus one. And that minus one, that's the oxidation number on each of the oxygens here in CaO2. So we like minus one up here, and that's it. Those are the oxidation numbers for CaO2, calcium peroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.